as a briar boy would say it, how you doing YouTubians, or something like that. Anyway, I did a video earlier, and I, I said a few things in it that were like a little borderline issue, didn't want anybody to get the wrong idea, or get offended or anything, so I didn't upload it. So I'm doing it again. Okay. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, I stopped back home. I was in my car when I did it on my wife's car. Much nicer than my car, believe me. Um, <laughs> I got a package. A surprise package. And this is a real surprise package. And it's from one of the nicest ladies. A nice lady. They're all nice. I mean, I like them all. I shouldn't really say that. But she's a real nice lady. She does real good reviews. And I guess you know who that is by now. That's Carmen. Okay. She sent me this package. Why? I'll never know. But. I'm going to open this bad boy. I pre-opened it a little bit. So it'll be so rough getting open. Pretty soon I'm going to have a tobacco pack over here. Oh, and here comes a note. Uh, yes, I like that, Carmen. I like that sign off. I love it. Right on, Carmen, I like it. Uh, I do like a, a ZA or Z, DZ or... Uh, <laughs> this is... Uh, <laughs> okay, that's her feeble attempt at this, I guess. Oh, yes, thank you, Carmen. Thank you. But I like the way you close this. I like that sign up. I like it big time. Um, well, she sent me some tobaccos. Which I thought was very nice of her. Since she don't owe me nothing. Or need to send me anything. This is Sophocles. Ah. Uh, you know, tobaccos. What is it? Uh, Suffolk? Suffolk? Uh, anyway, it's my number five. So, uh, I can't say the word. Okay? Because I'm old and stupid. And, uh, number five. And she sent me some, uh, Kramer's Extra Mild English. Nice, nice size. Uh, funny. Funny there. And uh, some Suffolk cream brulee. Brulee? Something like that. Brulee, whatever. Thank you, Carmen. And she sent me this. Which she says is a futile attempt at a pipe sock, I guess. But. You know something? It stretches. And it works great, Carmen. And I like it, and I appreciate it. And I like it the most because you made it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You didn't have to do it, and you know you didn't have to do it. Because I don't send people stuff to get stuff in return. But this community got so many nice people in it. I guess that's what nice people do. Don't necessarily need it or want it. Want you to go through the trouble, that is. But I do appreciate it. Now I got three samples from her. I got samples from the other guy. Um, Cisco 76. And samples all over. But I just wanted to make this uh, video of I just want to acknowledge to everybody, let everybody know that I know 
I am over 200 subs, 201 to be exact. And I said that when I got over to, when I got to 200, I would have a contest. Well, I am going to have a contest, but I'm not going to announce it just yet because I want to have a really good prize and stuff, and I'm just waiting for some things to happen. And as soon as I'm sure that they happen, or when they happen, which is soon, I'm going to announce the contest, probably within the week or so. And uh, uh, at that time, I'll tell you what the prizes will be. I haven't decided if I'm going to make one prize or two prizes. I don't didn't sort that out in my mind yet. But um, we'll have to wait a little while longer, guys. And I promise you, you're going to love the prize. Um, I'm smoking my John, J-O-H, I guess it's John, freeform, it's a really nice freeform, somebody else has the sister, I had two, but I didn't need two. Well, I need one, and I do have another. Uh, I have a Nording reform, so I'm good. Uh, and I'm smoking Rock Morton, just plain Rock Morton, not across the bayou, not on the pond, not in the cellar, just plain. Really, really good stuff. If you like English. This stuff is great, I'm telling you. Really good stuff. Okay. Enough of that. Okay. Like I said, I know that I have 200 subs. Um, I did want to go into a little bit more about the 50s and 60s today. But I got that Yabo. And I got another package coming. See, I had just put another. I had three orders of tobacco that I ordered within the in one week. Because I was down so low. Uh, when I sent Cisco to pipe, I, I didn't even have enough tobacco to send them any. I wanted to send them some, and I didn't have enough to send them, you know. I was that, that low. So I went crazy and ordered from three different places, three different things, three, you know, different kinds of tobaccos because the one place didn't carry more. But anyway, so I got another one coming on the way from uh, Highlands, Highlands Cigars, which you get the gold, the black gold from which is really pretty good stuff. They also sent me a, um, uh, uh, look at, look at, look at a sample they sent you. They took a couple of bowls out just already. And it's pretty good stuff. It's an it's a English light. The light English. It's really nice. It's a nice tobacco. The tobaccos are really nice, and I really did a number on the black gold. They, I had just as much, if not more, black gold, and look what I got left. And I'm really hoping that package comes today. Because I really enjoy this stuff. It's nice. It's nice stuff. Anyway, yeah. Uh, what I didn't touch on about the prices of um, uh, that day was the prices of cigarettes. Now, cigarettes. Back in the day, like 1956, 57, cost 27 cents a pack, and my father used to send me to the store to buy them. I was seven years old. Okay. And they were good for you. They had advertisements on TV, how they're good for your nerves, how they're good for, you know, to relax. They calm you, they relax you. Everything was good about cigarettes and all was right with the world. Okay. And even when I started smoking, it was still, there was no bad reports out on it yet. And, uh, when I started smoking cigarettes, they were 40 cents a pack, okay? And that was in the 60s. So, um, you can see where we're coming from, right? And there was something else. Um, I put the other video on, I can't remember. 
No. But anyway, you know, I can go on and on and on with these prices, man. It's like unbelievable um, how different it is in the world. I mean, you know, you could be you could be a blue collar worker, a factory worker, and in those days, a lot of women didn't work because they didn't have to. Their husbands had, a, you know, a, a blue collar job or a white collar job, whatever, you know, white collar job, you know, or executives or whatever. But most people were factory workers. There was a lot of factories in the country. You know, we made everything, you know, and on their pay, they had enough to have a new house, a new car, put food on the table, and live comfortable. And they made maybe about $140. If they made that much, they were doing real, real good. But my family, it was, I think, five of us at the time in the 50s. Um, there were seven of us all together, but there was five of us at that time uh, when I was seven. And my mother had to go out to work, and then my father had opened up a, a pizzeria. And uh, after school, we used to go there and help wash dishes and stuff like this. This is seven, eight years old, you know. And I used to make pies, too, at eight years old, you know. And, um, you know, everybody worked together, man, back in those days. You know, a family was a, a unit that pulled together. Everybody pulled together. They pulled in the same direction. It's not so today. People pull. The, the, the kids are pulling this way, and the grown-ups are pulling that way, and they're going nowhere. You know, as a matter of fact, a lot of kids today are taking their parents down and even their grandparents you go into food stores and you see these old people checking out people you know grandparent people you know what I mean that age you know like like me I got 14 grandchildren but uh, now they're they work for their children now they're working now they're taking care of their grandchildren I mean this is where we're at and I must say I have to take part of the blame because I'm in the group the baby boomers what happened was, is they wanted to give their kids more. So, that's what we did. And we overdid it. And we made a mess. Sorry, guys. Because, my day, you didn't... I think I asked my father for money one time. To go to a dance. The dance cost uh, 50 cents. To go to this dance. And he surprisingly gave it to me. But I, that was the only time I ever asked him for money. I said, never ask him for money again. Not that he didn't say, don't ever ask me for money again. I just didn't do it. You know what I mean? Because I knew we had a big family. And, you know, me and my brother, we got jobs to go out and buy our own school clothes. And all my friends had jobs and bought their own school clothes and stuff. And money for their pocket for if they want to go out to a dance on a weekend or, you know, whatever. Go to a movie or whatever. We worked to pay our own way. We didn't ask our parents for money. And that's the difference with the kids. And there's a lot more. I mean, there is so much that, you know, I said in the other video that I couldn't stay here because I'm running out of time already. It's already 13 and a half minutes. I go over 15, that's not going to load. But anyway, I am going to touch more on it. Uh, there is so many things, you know, to be said about it and the way things are today, it's it's phenomenal. But I just wanted to do this yabo because I happened to be here today and I wanted to do it and acknowledge, you know, the gift from Carmen and I really do appreciate it, Carmen. Thank you very much. Uh, really nice of you. You didn't have to do it. But I have to go because I'm running out of time. So I'm going to upload another video soon. and. Uh, will continue on okay so everybody have a good day god bless see you next time